If you want insurance of always hooping your fabric and stabilizer together without the fabric accidentally stretching, you're going to want to reach for some type of spray adhesive. This is like post-it note in a can. I love it. It also doesn't have an odor. That's the 505 Spray and Fix Temporary Fabric Adhesive. Not all sprays are created equal. Some have a very potent smell and some spray and stick and don't and they leave a residue on the back of your fabric. So make sure that you use something recommended. So that's my recommendation. Next, when you use a spray adhesive, you never spray the fabric. You always spray the stabilizer. So if I was just to try to hoop this, you did kind of notice that things were quite stretchy. It's not going to be very, it's going to actually be really easy for me to accidentally kind of pull and then stretch it out. If you embroider on stretched out fabric, that is like putting stay stitching where the fabric is stretched. And then after you take it out of the hoop, it's going to just stay looking Ah, like that. That's not what you want. So this is how we do it. I always talk about using two layers of stabilizer. So that means I'm usually spraying one piece of stabilizer to the other here. So I'm going to go ahead. A light spray, kind of like you're doing hairspray, okay? Just kind of keep it all over and light. And then I'm going to just put that there. Um, usually I'm not spraying this close to a machine. If you have an area over by your ironing board, you can put down a towel or something, kind of have your own little spray area. I've also been known to even have a trash can and I'll spray with my, um, into that area, <laughs> kind of put my stabilizer down in the trash can and spray and then it catches the overspray. So here's what I want to show you. When we, you saw how stretchy that fabric was. So when this goes down, I'm going to just kind of lay it in place, smooth it onto that spray. And we all know that bias, the diagonal part of our fabric is the most stretchy. But when it's attached to stabilizer, you can't stretch it. Look how tight I'm pulling that. And that fabric is bonded to our stabilizer. Now, if it's stretchy, you might check what kind of stabilizer you have. Maybe it's not stable. All right, and that's gonna make it a lot easier to hoop because everything's gonna just stay all together. As we open up our hoops down here at the screw, make sure that gets nice and open. It should not be hard for you to easily kind of lay the fabric down into the outer hoop, close this little guy. Should be also very easy if you're struggling and you feel like you're gonna break it, you probably will. And then we're gonna tighten that screw and get the two hoops to kind of bond together. So this is where your fingers will get a little callus. And before you know it, these hoops are together. Last little bit, make sure you push each of those corners down, maybe so it doesn't make that much noise. Take your thumbs, push just a little past flesh. I'm pushing the inner hoop just a little past that outer hoop on all four of those little corners. It's one last little way to get it all to be perfect. And the spray adhesive for the win makes it easier to hoop any type of stretchy fabric. And don't forget, woven fabric has stretch on two directions.